In this presentation, we would like to give you an insight into life here at Moulton College and share with you some of the excellent opportunities and achievements of the last year. Jake Robinson, a second year sport development student, represented England in the wheelchair basketball squad in September last year. Jake's team made it through to the final against England North and fought a tough battle where they were finally crowned the winners with a win of 50 to 29 points. Jake played particularly well, scoring 10 points with two steals and four assists. Moulton College Basketball Academy students, Steph Ogden and George Calvi, were selected to travel to Holbeck in Denmark as part of a cultural visit. During their visit, they participated in a range of practices and competed in games against Scandinavian teams and coaches in the local community. Steph plays in the National League, representing the North Hans Lightning Junior Women's Team. She helped Moulton College secure the East Midlands title and finish fifth in the National College Championships, as well as reaching the semi-finals of the National Cup. Despite only playing basketball for two years, George, who is six foot eight, is known for his strong rebounding and shot blocking attributes and has also represented England New Horizons under 17 team, competing in an international tournament in Cherbourg in France. Student Amadeus Clements continues to make outstanding progress at Moulton College, where he is now studying at degree level, specialising in sports performance and coaching. He has been passing on his knowledge to the next generation of athletes. First year Golf Academy student Tom Forster won this year's Moulton College Junior Open. Initially tied on a score of 73, Tom's back nine proved to be the best score of the day to win the boys competition and the title overall. Tom's performance also meant that he won the Northamptonshire Golf Junior Order of Merit Grand Final. Bethany Healy was the top female player and best net score of the day with last year's girls winner Ellie Darnell in second place. Sports therapy student Natalie Halliday travelled to Monaco in May to provide pre-race and after-race care for a Formula One team. Natalie thoroughly enjoyed the experience, which she describes as being of great professional benefit, and the photos bear testament to this. Jordan Yearwood Whitaker and Antonino Mussolino are both on placement at Amp Hill and District RUFC, a National 2 club competing at level 4 in the Rugby Football Union League structure. They both excelled within their placements by being involved in a number of clinical and non-clinical activities, from pre-game preparation, strapping and taping, and rehabilitation and injury management on a weekly basis. Moulton College women's basketball team secured their third consecutive East Midlands title at the regional tournament held at Derby College. The girls proved to be too strong against opposing colleges as they finished the tournament undefeated, successfully securing a place at the national championships. The East Midlands title was secured against Queen Elizabeth Wigston College, winning the final 38-10. Football Academy students received enrichment talks from Pass for Soccer and the North Hans Football Association where they found out more about careers within the football industry. Moulton College sports students travelled to Lee Valley Indoor Athletics Track in January to compete in the annual sports day. The trip allowed learners to use the world-class facilities but also see some of the Great Britain team train. Some students had the unique opportunity not just to meet some of the Great Britain squad but also train with them. Sports development student Tia Clues was lucky enough to train with long jump specialist Jodie Williams on the day. Moulton College Rugby Academy students found themselves in the unusual position of playing against each other. George Thornton and Tim Cardell represented Scotland under 18s and England under 18s respectively. In an open free flowing contest it was the England team that managed to come out on top winning 39 to 27. Moulton captain Tim Cardell was obviously delighted with the win, but commented about how strange it was playing against George. George, who was winning his first cap, was equally enthused, saying, 
It was a great game to play in and despite the result, we can take a great deal out of the performance. Moulton College's Linus Bajarunas was named Elite Academy Basketball League Player of the Week. The games played during week 15 of the 2014 to 2015 season. Bajarunas led Moulton to an 81 to 69 win over County Upper with a huge 34 point 19 rebound double double. Two Moulton College Basketball Academy students were selected for England Basketball National Team camps. Students George Calvey and Eden Brown were called upon to display their talents among the country's best players. With just months to go, England Rugby 2015 has announced details of the Rugby World Cup Trophy Tour of the UK and Ireland. Starting on the 10th of June, 100 days to go to the opening match, rugby's greatest prize, the Webb Ellis Cup, will travel through Scotland, Northern Ireland, the Republic of Ireland, Wales and England, counting down to the start of the tournament before arriving at Twickenham Stadium on the 18th of September, ahead of the opening ceremony. The trophy tour is scheduled to visit Moulton College on Monday the 10th of August. The college has been selected as a training base during the tournament and will be hosting playoff winners Uruguay immediately prior to their match against Fiji at Stadium MK before going on to play England in Manchester. Uruguayan team manager Santiago Slinger paid a visit to the college recently and toured the facilities with college principal Stephen Davis as part of their planning preparations for when the national team arrives later in the year. Robbie Spears, commercial manager at Moulton College said, We are delighted to be selected not only as a training base by England Rugby 2015, but also as a venue for the trophy tour in the build-up to the tournament. We will engage with many of our local partners and young people to make the event a huge success for the people of Northamptonshire. Tim Cardell was another member of the England Under-18 squad that finished third in the recent FIRA AER European Championships held in France. He has also experienced adult rugby at a tender age, having been part of the Saints 7 squad that qualified for the 2014 Premiership Rugby 7 Series Final. <laughs> Students from the Slatter Road School overcame many challenges to complete their training course at Moulton College. They all excelled during their final test, which was to build a famous monster out of bricks. General education students have completed a wide range of practical tasks this year, including Aidan O'Reilly's brick-built barbecue that he now wants to build for his parents. Tommy Payne has built a semicircular arch with the help of Tommy Smith. They were inspired to do this, having witnessed Moulton College apprentices building the same thing. Kane Allen, an apprentice from Minnet Construction, represented the college as the junior entrant for the regional heat of skill build at Vision West Nottinghamshire College in Mansfield. He produced an excellent completed model within the given time frame, only narrowly missing the prizes. Nick Hancock, an apprentice from Timeline Design and Build, also competed in the skill build event. Nick put in a fantastic effort and his work was of a very high standard. He was very unfortunate to narrowly miss being placed in the top three, but gained valuable experience when working under pressure. In addition, Connor Farrell has progressed onto a brickwork apprenticeship and taken up a position at a locally based brickwork company. Connor started on the full-time course and showed excellent enthusiasm and attitude towards learning and brickwork in particular. In February, Judith Butler from the Construction Industry Training Board brought Chris Elms and Martin Bishop from local company Ravcon to visit Moulton College. While at the college, Chris and Martin were able to observe some full-time students at work with a view to recruiting two additional apprentices. The successful students who gained employment were Kieran Barnard and John Coos. The Level 3 floristry students were assisted by general building maintenance students in building props to be used in a display as their final assessment. The finished results can be seen in the construction area as part of our college exhibition of students' work after this ceremony. Producing work-ready students is part of Moulton College's ethos, so it was no surprise when Barrett Holmes visited the college to discuss the possibility of taking on a student on their maintenance team. Due to an ageing workforce, Barrett's are planning for the future and started to employ more apprentices. 
the successful candidate was Josh Tolbert, who is really enjoying his new challenge. Students at the Silverstone Academy use their carpentry skills to make a Christmas nativity scene for the local church. Peter Coles, the church warden of St Michael's at Silverstone, first asked Academy manager Sally Dismore if the students would be interested in helping produce a larger version of a well-loved nativity scene. The students were unanimous in deciding to help out and made the nativity stable complete with figures of animals ready for Christmas. Level 2 carpentry students, maintenance students and lecturers from Dammitry Academy raised money for Comet Relief by participating in a go-karting event at Wilton Mill. The winner with the fastest lap was Corey Rigby. The Level 2 carpenters had a small skills competition where they all had to create a gallows bracket from a drawing. They all worked really well and achieved some excellent results. The winner was Dylan Drake with the excellent example that he created. All of the group enjoyed the challenge. The Level 1 carpenters have been working on a display for the workshop. This introduces the use of videos to help them with their work. The display includes visual guides to help them create each task and a QR code that will link their phone to a video demonstration. This resource has already proved beneficial to Level 1 carpenters, schools groups and Level 1 maintenance. Once again, Moulton fielded a strong team for the Skill Build Regional Heats at Vision West Nottinghamshire College in April. Adam Jones and Ben Robinson both competed in their senior section for carpentry and joinery. Ben and Adam worked through some difficult roofing work, with Ben being one of the only two competitors to complete the task and going on to win the competition. This now entitles him to represent the college in the national finals at Birmingham in November. Silverson Academy carpentry students spent some time putting the skills they have learnt at college into practice and helped out the animals by making them some novel housing. The animals benefiting from this include the chinchillas, rabbits, guinea pigs and rats. Level 2 carpentry and level 2 maintenance students from Daventry Academy designed and built soapbox go-karts out of scrap timber and piping. This proved to be great fun and a formidable challenge to overcoming some of the problems with reliable steering and trustworthy wheels causing the greatest headaches. It is always rewarding to hear our alumni make a success of their careers and Simon Boardman and Chris Hinson, who came to Moulton College as bench joinery students in 2001, are no different. Simon Boardman is now director of SDRB Joinery Limited, which was set up in 2010 and in the recent years has recruited two apprentices at Moulton College. Chris Hinson is now director of Hinson Custom Made Joinery Products, established in 1984. The business continues to grow, which has resulted in Chris recently employing John Healy, a level two bench joiner who attends our academy in Silverstone. The stone masonry department at Moulton College was commissioned by Delapree Abbey to produce a hand-carved stone plinth for displaying their monument. The plinth is a reproduction of the original that was cast in cement. The new plinth, which is carved in the Gothic style and portrays the elegance of tracery panels, fully complements the monument which it will support. In December, stonemasonry students completed the restoration project of rebuilding the boundary stone wall at Moulton Church. The standard of workmanship is outstanding and the students thoroughly enjoyed working on this heritage project that benefits the local community. Full-time first, second and third year students, as well as our block release apprentices, visited the Stone Show Industry event in London during April. This gave students the opportunity to familiarise themselves with new machine technologies and to buy quality tools, as well as meeting and networking with people from across the stone industry. Alice Ward secured employment working in Worcester Cathedral through the Trade Skills Bursary Scheme, which is connected with the National Trust. Training stonemasons, carpenters, plasterers and more in trade building using lime mortars, upon completion, applicants gain a Heritage Skills NVQ qualification. Alice said, We get to do loads of cool stuff. We went up to Fountains Abbey in Yorkshire to do a course on understanding old buildings and then on to Wales to do a lime course. In May, three Moulton College stonemasonry students 
Theo Brogan, Patrick Coyle and Matthew Brown took part in a national skills competition held at Bath College. Competition was fierce and the pressure was tough as they raced towards a set deadline of 5pm. In April, first year wall and floor tiling student Brandon Richards took part in the regional heats of skill build held at Vision West College, Nottinghamshire. Brandon had to produce a complex design within a timescale, which was then marked by the judges for accuracy. Brandon was delighted to be awarded first place and is now looking forward to competing next year in the senior competition. Course manager Paul Harmon said, Brandon has the patience and the right attitude to compete in these competitions and is a credit to himself and the college. First year full-time wall and floor tiling students visited British Adhesive's new £300,000 Innovation and Technology Centre at their factory in Stoke on the 6th of May as part of the college's ongoing collaboration with the British firm. The British Adhesive's Training Academy features a state-of-the-art demonstration auditorium, practical training bays and meeting rooms, together with the manufacture and distribution of tile adhesives, grouts, sealants and decorating products through its Bal and Dunlop branded products. The students were given a lecture of Bal's new products and services, together with a guided tour of the centre and research and development facilities by Dave Rowley, training manager and Martin Pouncey, product support manager. Wall and floor tiling enjoyed a trip to Roxeter Roman City, once the fourth largest city in Roman Britain. The students toured around the fascinating ruins and explored the new Roman townhouse. Though much still remains below ground, today the most impressive features are the second century municipal baths and the remains of the huge wall dividing them from the exercise hall in the heart of the city. The students particularly enjoyed the design of the mosaic floors on display, 